Urban Air Mobility, or UAM, seems to have a very realistic chance of being a key method of transport. South Korea has also taken a step closer to achieving its goal of commercializing UAM through the so-called KUAM Grand Challenge, a project that checks the safety and capability of urban air mobility. Shin Ha-young with the details. Even though urban air mobility is yet to be commercialized around the world, its market outlook is bright. Morgan Stanley projects the global UAM market to rise to one and a half trillion U.S. dollars by 2040. South Korea aims to commercialize it in the year 2025. The government has come up with the Korean UAM demonstration project, known as the KUAM Grand Challenge, which tests UAM aircraft safety, traffic management capabilities, and vertical construction for commercialization throughout two phases in rural and urban areas. The country is set to kick off the first phase of the project as, on Wednesday, the Transport Ministry announced the agreements it has in place with 46 companies. The project has been recognized globally as the first in the world that incorporates commercial communication networks like 5G into UAM traffic management. We will conduct a demonstration in an urban area next year, which shows we're moving at a relatively faster pace compared to other countries. The KUAM Dream Team is one of the consortia led by SK Telecom and Hanwha Systems, along with one of the more prominent players in UAM market, Jovi Aviation, a California-based electric aircraft maker. We will demonstrate how we can utilize our existing telecommunication business to establish an air communication network for UAM. We expect that our data and AI-based technology can provide the best services to customers. Meanwhile, the government has vowed to provide various support, including the enactment of the UAM Act that's based on both regulatory exemptions. Our priority is to create an institutional framework for UAM, which is why we plan to establish related laws in the first half of this year. To fly UAM, there are different types of aviation regulations. We will work together as soon as possible to find ways to ease these regulations and establish safety standards. Under the government's support, the groups will demonstrate their technologies in the first stage of the KUAM Grand Challenge, which will take place in Kohung, Jeollanam-do province from August until the end of 2024. Shin Ha-young, Arirang News.